All right, guys, it's time to make a video about a Polygon project. I reached out to the community to find out if they wanted me to look into Polygon, stay on Binance Smart Chain, or look at some of the different chains that are out there that might have DeFi on them. And Polygon got the most votes, so I'm going to be doing that. And obviously, I'll still be covering stuff on Binance Smart Chain. And it doesn't look like anybody else is really ready to move to ETH, Solana, or, or ADA. So... For now, we'll be looking for stuff to show you on the Polygon network and then giving you updates on all the stuff on Binance Smart Chain. I do have to get some updates out to you soon on some of the projects that I had been covering there, and I'll be working on making a lot more content this week. I've got my new setup ready to go, so hopefully things will be coming really fast, and it'll be working out pretty well in the next couple weeks. So the first thing you have to do if you want to get into farming over on the Polygon network is set up your MetaMask for Polygon. So there's a couple different guides out there, but I'm going to give you a link to this one because it tells you how to get MetaMask. It gives you a couple different links that you can use for your RPC client. It's good to keep track of both of these or, or bookmark this site. So if one is having an issue, you can switch to the other. Polygon has had a few issues on their chain, and hopefully that doesn't continue because the whole point of Layer 2 is to not have those issues. But it's still pretty exciting. It's relatively simple. As you can see, if you've added any other kind of network to your MetaMask before, you shouldn't have any problem with it. Let me just cancel this. As you can see, I've already added it here, but all you would do is go to here, go to custom RPC. You're going to want to name it something like Polygon or Polygon Matic like I did. Then you're going to need to copy this, this here, here chain ID 137. Make sure the current DC symbol is Matic as Matic is used as the gas token on this chain and you will need a little bit of Matic to be able to use it. And then you're going to go ahead and put in this explorer here or the other one over here. It's really up to you. You can do a little bit of digging if you want to see which one might be working better, but I'm not going to go over a lot of this because for a lot of us this should be relatively simple and if not, hopefully this is enough for you to see what you would need to do to fill all of this information out. Now I'm going to cover a couple different sites today that have to do with the Polygon network, including one that's just kind of fun, a couple different bridges that you can use, and then we're going to be looking at the one farm I've invested in so far. And the first thing we're going to be glancing into is a place called Polypixels. Polypixels is actually a project from a friend of mine in the crypto world. So I went ahead and featured it because he was nice enough to let me check it out with him, do some beta testing with him, and gave me one of the pixels. So that's my little face right there. And if you hit that, it links to my YouTube channel. So maybe a few people might randomly just click on me as I was one of the first people on the site. But it has been growing. The idea is relatively simple. If you have a project that is on Polygon and you order one of these pixels, you get a discount. But any project or any YouTube influencer or anyone can go ahead and order one of these pixels. This is a play off of the old million dollar homepage idea and the more pixels that you buy the more it costs but the bigger thing you will be. Obviously you can see my buddy Crypto Talk. I watch his video so he's pretty cool. You should check him out by clicking the little link if you come to the site. He's a lot more noticeable than me and I maybe need to get my name into my logo. <laughs> Um, or actually work on a logo. So I'm going to try to work on that here pretty shortly. But still, it's a fun little site. And just to get you an idea on the pricing, if you hit the order tab, you can see if you want one little square, it costs 50 Matic, and then it goes up to 85, and the bigger ones cost, you know, many, many more. They do have a referral program, so I will have a link to the site. And if you do decide that you want to get into it, you can go ahead and order one and I'll get a little bit of Matic. I'd appreciate that a lot, but it's nothing that you should do unless you think that this might be a fun way to advertise your project. And like I said, they do give you a discount back on those Matic tokens if your project is on Polygon, but it doesn't have to be. Safe bees. Icebreaker. Some of, a lot of these are on Binance Smart Chain, but they're Binance Smart Chain projects that plan to also launch on Polygon. So they kind of are, but they kind of aren't. But they're not, they're not preventing you from going ahead and and getting there. And as you can see, if you click on one of these, that's where it loads up the site or or different things. Like right now, I clicked accidentally not on mine, but on the Drip Network, who isn't on Polygon yet. So they're yelling at me. I need to be on BSC. But that's kind of how this site works. So it's just going to be a fun one I'm going to be linking you to. You can check it out if you want to. Now I'm going to show you the two bridges that were introduced to me so far. And if you know a better bridge, please make a comment on the video of the bridge that you would use to get funds over into the Matic chain because that's one of the big challenges. And one of the big ones is actually getting the Matic token into there. The two that I'm going to be covering today are, are 
bridges that can move funds from BSC over to Polygon. But the one problem with both of these bridges is they don't move Matic. So you're going to need to get a tiny bit of Matic. And from what I've been looking into, I haven't found a BSC network that will let you move over Matic, only Ethereum networks, which means you'd have to be willing to pay one of those Ethereum bridges to actually move the Matic token on there. It might just be something to do with the Binance Smart Chain Matic PEG token isn't able to be moved across a bridge and turned into a real Matic token because they need that uh, bridged token to be exchanged through Binance or something like that. But for now, there isn't, there isn't a way to do that that I'm aware of. When I do know of one, I will do an update on that. But there are two out there that can at least hit you move funds over. So you can use Waypoint. So on Waypoint, it's pretty simple. You buy their token and then you move it over to the to Polygon. The token lives on QuickSwap and PancakeSwap. And so basically you buy it on PancakeSwap, you use their bridge to move it over, and then you sell it on QuickSwap. The thing is you need a tiny bit of Matic to be able to do that first sale. I would like to see one of these sites go ahead and give you a faucet or something so as you can just get, because Matic's extremely cheap, and I'm going to show you that by claiming a transaction or showing you a claim about how much Matic you would need. But it doesn't give it to you, so you would have to kind of figure out how to get your Matic on there. And I'm going to be talking a little bit on the end of the video about the best ways of doing that. And it's really, and I'll just spill the beans now, have a friend who's already there give you 0.0001 Matic because that's all you need. So this is the bridge that I use. This is the Evo DeFi bridge. I like this one because while they do let you move their token over there because their token lives on both places they let you move usdc and eth so this is kind of nice because if you have some eth pegged or some usd pegged over here on binance smart chain they will actually let you move those over into your matic wallet so what i did was i moved over some usdc a friend of mine gave me one matic i took that i took my usdc i bought some matic and then i was able to go ahead and use the chain without any problems so these are the two bridges that i'll have links to and you can come and check them out if you decide to use them you will need somebody to give you a tiny bit of matic now for my subscribers if you are subscribed to me following me on twitter and you join my telegram and you reach out to me i can probably send you enough matic to do one trade and i literally will only send you point like enough to do one trade so that you can move some funds over and buy your first matic if that's what you need to do but you'll need to reach out to me on telegram and you know obviously if millions of you join i, I might run out of matic but if I have a little bit to spare, I can help you out. And that's really just something I can do for those people who are kind enough to join my Telegram group, take part in the community, and are really watching all of my videos and paying attention to it. I will offer that to you. So now let's take a look at the first farm that I got into. And this was a farm that was really shown to me by a friend. It's called Poly Dragon, And it's a real simplistic farm right now. They only have three pools right now going on their token. And that's the fire token with USDC, fire with Matic, and fire with ETH. I currently am staking in this pool here, fire to Matic. I'm trying something out new on the Polygon chain. I used to like the one-sided token to USDC, but then when the token goes down in price, it really, really hurts. Your dollars disappear, and if the token doesn't pan out and goes to zero, all of your money disappears. I have a feeling that when you pair it up with the main token on the chain, if the main token on the chain goes up, it's a way for you to get more of the other token and it's a way for your overall liquidity to grow. And even if the uh, token goes down quite a bit, if your Matic holds its level or goes up a little bit, I can get a little bit of value back. But I'd like some comments on that and let me know which one of these you would prefer. There's also an interesting one here where you can do fire with Ethereum. That's kind of industry. Now, interesting. Now, I got into this at $1.50 for a billion tokens. One of the things about this token is it is kind of a combo with the idea of like a safe moonish token with some transaction fees when you use it and in absolutely crazy supply. As you can see, I claimed earlier today and I have 100 million tokens that my amount has earned full disclosure, I only put around $100 into Polygon to start as I was still getting a feel for the network and what's going on. If I would have put some more money in there, I probably would be pretty happy because the token went from $1.50 up to $2.21. That's a pretty good percentage gain on the 1 billion tokens. And it makes me feel good that maybe I did get into a project that might be growing and not going down. 
but we'll have to tell over time. Now this site does aim to be a site that is completely a rival to PancakeSwap, but over here on the Polygon network. Now they already, they do have a deck, so you can exchange your tokens here for any of the main tokens that are on the Matic chain. They do have their liquidity pools for their main tokens. They are going to have some dens, but for now they only have the one for their fire token. There's, there is a deposit fee for that one. So as you can see, there is a lot of burn functionality to this token. And then if we go and take a look at the Poly Dragon uh, roadmap, you can get a little feel for what else this project is trying to do. So right here, you can check out all the tokenomics when it comes to the fire token. It is one quadrillion static supply deflationary with burn mechanics. One quadrillion. So that is quite a bit of tokens. I don't know if that's maybe too many and they're gamifying this whole burn mechanism too much, but it worked out pretty well for Safe Moon, for Shibu Inu, and so the fact that this is on Polygon and it's going to have some of that Ethereum crowd looking into this, there might be some people that aren't really bothered by that number knowing that there's going to be quite a lot of burning going on and quite a lot of stuff moving around. As you can see, they do talk about there is a 50% buyback sent to the reward contract and of the fees and 50% sent to the treasury for marketing, growth, and development. Now, eventually they'll be able to use that to hire influencer. I have not been paid by the team to make this video. I will add a comment or something in there if they do give me anything for having made the video. But as of right now, I'm just featuring them because this is the first pool that I got into. They do talk about the fact that they're going to be launching, some, uh, launching a launch pad. So this explains kind of how their launch pad goes through. And I'm not going to get into everything in this video. This is just a quick overview. If you want me to go through the white paper in detail, please let me know. But you can really come and read this stuff pretty well yourself. They also kind of are combining one of the things that Cake didn't do well, but Bakery Swap did better. And that's getting NFTs onto this chain pretty well. Now, it's pretty exciting to imagine that they're going to have an NFT marketplace here because Ethereum's mar NFTs are considered like, say, the premium ones but they're also not able to be used when it comes to NFTs for certain types of things. So layer two NFTs are an exciting thing to unlock things like um, uh, the Gala Games NFTs that we use for playing those ones or that little, uh, I can't forget the name of the game with the little like pink marshmallowy guys that fight. Maybe one of you know it, but oh, Axie Infinity. I can't get into that one because it's, the Axies are expensive, but they're also just crazy Ethereum fees in picking those up. So I just don't want to. They are going to be copying the lottery uh, mechanism that we have seen in quite a few sites that do farming to add one more burn into the system. They also plan to launch a yield aggregator on the site. So they're combining basically the full pancake swap, pancake bunny, just everything that you've seen in Binance Smart Chain that's worked pretty well on one different site, they're gonna try to do it all here on Poly Dragon. Now that might be too ambitious, but if they pull that off, if you can come here and you can yield farm the Poly Dragon token, and then you can also stake your, um, say, Matic Ethereum pair here, and they'll go out and they'll farm on the best farms out there in an AMM with you. At the same time, you're able to go ahead and get into token launches that are going on and able to play around in the NFT marketplace where there'll probably be some discounts or some different things worked in with the fire token. It's going to be pretty cool. This is all planned out in their phase one. So all of this should be coming soon. They do talk about how they're going to be using the, the Ave vaults, the curve vaults, the quick swap vaults. So these are all planned in their yield aggregators. They also talk about doing leveraged yield farming, which is something that is relatively new. And I actually still need to do some reading up on how it works, but it is exciting to see that they're already planning to do that. So they do have their token and their master chief addresses here, and they are working on getting audited. This is not an audited project yet, though. The audit is coming. So that is one thing that you do have to pay attention to here when you're coming into this site. But once you're here, if you've used any of these sites before, it's relatively simple. You can log into the exchange. You can go ahead and swap your Matic for any of the other tokens that they carry. There are quite a few different Ethereum projects and Polygon projects here that you can get into. Then once you have your tokens, you can add some liquidity. So to show you an example of that really quick, 
I'll go ahead and do a harvest of my 100 million tokens. This is, I'd normally wait till there was more in here, but Matic is relatively cheap. I'll show you that on the next transaction that goes through. And it is relatively fast. This should not take too long. There we go, we got our confirmations, and now you see that disappeared. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the liquidity pairing. I'm zoomed in really, really far so that you can see kind of what's going on. If things look a little big or a little weird. So I have to connect my wallet again. I should probably change it so I don't have to do that, but it's just a setting I have. So we have the Fire and the Matic. You go ahead and pair those up. As you can see, it's not very, very much Matic for this 100 million tokens. You hit supply, you're gonna see that the amount of that I'm gonna receive in the pool tokens is gonna to be right here. We're gonna hit confirm, and then this is gonna pop up. So it's 0 0.0002898 for a smart contract uh, call, and it's even cheaper when you're doing like a simple claim. So as you know, Maddox only a dollar, so point, uh, or two dollars, so point oh 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 two is like, I don't know, it's like less than a penny, it's very cheap. Though if Maddox ever really, really expensive, this will rival about the same as Binance Smart Chain if they do not adjust it and lower it the way Binance Smart Chain has been doing to keep BNB around a quarter for a transaction to a little bit less. Then you just wait for a little while, you get your liquidity tokens, and then once you have your liquidity tokens, just like any other farm, you go over here, you hit the plus sign, you add those in, you hit confirm. Here I'll show you, this one is 0 .00036. This is actually another uh, smart contract and it might be a little bit busy to, right now. So that could be why we're seeing these high fees over here on Matic. And there we go. Now I got a little bit more fire in, in the pool and I'm claiming away my rewards. So this was just a first look at the Polygon network. I hope showing you how to get into it, showing you the Polypixel site, which I hope you find kind of interesting, showing you a couple bridges that you can use, and showing you the, the Polydragon site was kind of interesting. Let me know what you want more of. If you'd like me to show you an example of me using the bridge, let me know, and get into the Telegram group if you have questions and you need some extra support. I will try to help you along with some of the other people that are in there. I'm hoping we can build up this community as people who are looking to get into stuff with passive income, and we all can kind of share the, the platforms are on, what we're doing, and help each other out when we run into some questions. Thanks, everybody. Goodbye.